First, though, the other new developments in this story today. 24-year-old Dawson was arrested early this morning. Police say the attack was random. Local 15's Christian Jennings begins our team coverage tonight. Now, Christian is live in the newsroom with how authorities were able to catch up with Dawson. Christian? Well, Greg, USA Police say Dawson used the victim's credit card at a nearby convenience store, and detectives recognized him in the surveillance video because Dawson is a former student at South Alabama and was previously arrested on a theft charge by USA Police. USA Police say Jawan Dawson didn't know the student he allegedly held at gunpoint, forced inside a vehicle, and sexually assaulted in the student health parking lot, and again off campus at Municipal Park Wednesday morning. Question is why is he on campus? I have no idea. He's not a student. He's a predator, I guess, so he was preying upon our students. Chief Zekal says officers arrested Dawson around 1 a.m., not at his home, but outside Family Place Apartments on Michael Boulevard. And it was the victim's credit card that ultimately led to his capture. We went to the location where that card was used. Uh, they freely and willingly, and they were very helpful, gave up that video to us, and we immediately recognized him. And our detectives were able to say, we know that guy, that is Juwan Dawson. I mean, it definitely makes us feel more safe, but I know that I have been checking like over my shoulder and stuff like that, especially coming from work at night because I get off at 10 o'clock at night. It makes me feel safer because it's kind of terrifying to think that someone on campus had been assaulted and that no one had been caught. Haley Hancock is a freshman at South and says she doesn't go anywhere without her pepper spray Protective out of fear that what happened to her fellow student could happen to her. If someone was to come up to me, I could be like, I could defend myself. Dawson is charged with sodomy and sexual abuse, among other charges tonight. Live in the newsroom, Christian Jennings, Local 15 News.